Hi everyone, a very happy new gardening year to you. It's 2022 and that can only mean one thing. It's time to start planning your garden or allotment for the year ahead. And I usually don't sow many seeds at all before March, but there is one seed that I just cannot wait to get sowing. And now is a really good time of year to do that. And that's the sweet pea. So I've got these early Gigantia sweet peas. Look at those, don't they look absolutely beautiful? You cannot beat the fragrance and colours of the sweet pea in the garden. If you want to grow sweet peas in your garden or allotment, they're really easy to sow, they're quick to germinate and pretty easy to look after as well. If you want to show your sweet peas and grow some with beautiful, strong, long stems, then I would recommend looking for the Spencer varieties. Now last year, instead of making a wigwam, which is what you quite often see for sweet pea growing, I actually built a wall which was made from canes and then string tied along the canes and it was absolutely beautiful. And some of my favourites from the year were Restormel, there was Spanish Dancer and also Turquoise Lagoon, uh, which all of my allotment neighbours commented on because the colour was absolutely beautiful. Now it's pretty cold outside today so I decided to start my sweet peas off indoors and then once they're all sown and ready I'm going to put them outside. Your sweet peas can either go into your rhino greenhouse or in a cold frame. So sweet peas are really very easy to grow. You can grow them in root training modules which are just like the usual modules that you sow seeds in but they're very long. But I love to sow them into recycled cardboard toilet roll holders I uh, saved these up through the year and I actually use them for sowing lots of different seeds in spring. So for other seeds you can cut them in half as well and then you just place them into a tray and uh, yeah then you've got your recycled easy to use seed modules made from cardboard. You just use a heat free compost of choice and fill your cardboard rolls or your modules with that compost press them down a little bit and when you put the compost in you need to leave about one inch from the top of the uh, module or cardboard roll and then just put one sweet pea seed in per toilet roll holder they have this lovely smooth round feel and, sh and shell to the seed some people will actually nick the side of this seed which is meant to help them germinate and some people will soak them overnight as well just in some in some water in a small container i've tried all of those methods over the years and i can honestly say that i haven't found improved germination from doing anything um, other than just popping them into your uh, modules or cardboard rolls and then making sure that the compost is kept moist So just press them into the soil and then cover them over with a little bit more compost. Now I've got a lot more to do here, but that's just kind of showing you how to do it. Now I'm going to water these, place them in a tray and then I'll be putting them outside. You can put them, like I said, in your rhino greenhouse and they will germinate probably around about seven to ten days, which is really exciting. So you can see how easy it is to sow sweet peas and if it's too cold outside it's a nice job to do inside as well. Now as they grow, once they start to develop their true sets of leaves, after a couple of sets have uh, formed I pinch out the tops of them and that just helps to promote a nice bushy growth rather than them getting tall and leggy and ultimately that means that you'll get many more flowers as well. Harden them off in spring and then plant them out after all frosts have passed. So make sure that they've got some supports to climb up as well. Those tendrils will soon loop themselves around canes or string or a trellis. They're beautiful, as I said before, for any garden at all. And I don't think there should be a garden without sweet peas. So happy new year to you. And I hope that you have many happy Rhino Greenhouse gardening days in 2022.